first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shad, Bashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom La Pequorium, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Bashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shad, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashem Yahweh means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book. Spirit of truth, Shalom, my Aquarium, peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. All right, and um, as you see, the time that we're living in, you know, we're extremely close, I believe, you know, and I, I'm sure you know, other men uh, like mine, especially members of GMS, who learn from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, we believe that we're extremely close. No brothers believe that something can happen within the next few days of the transition of power of presidency in America, right? Which there are several instances that are uh, theoretically possible to keep Donald Trump, you know, in somewhat of power or somewhat in office, you know, similar to. Uh, situation in Brazil where uh, I believe one guy named was Maduro and you have another one you know uh, another president that was actually elected but the people of um, I believe I, I said Brazil I meant to say Venezuela you know the situation down in Venezuela with uh, yeah President Maduro which the powers that be wanted him out of office and they were trying to establish another uh, president to take his place, but the people kind of like bucked up against it, but it, and it never happened. That transition, to my knowledge, never took place, you know, because of the people. And it seems like that's what's going on now with America, you know, and uh, down in Venezuela, you see all the, you know, turmoil and the famine, you know, the, uh, the COVID-19 is happening down there, you know, so you have a pestilence, you know, basically, it's extremely uh, prophetic down there, man. You know, they're living in the prophetic times. Like, you could kind of say that Venezuela, Brazil, those different countries are going through Jacob's trouble right now because they are Jacob. They are Israel. But the main showdown is going to be here in America. Now, those people down there, they have a particular mind frame where they know how to sustain and know how to get through certain circumstances. You know, but here in America, the American mind frame is extremely spoiled. You know, so... A day without the internet, the people are gonna go crazy. You know, a day without heat. You know, a, uh, a day without, you know, the luxuries. You know, going in the supermarket, just going to grab food. You know, the, the American mind frame, you know, the people of America, including us, you know, we're not used to that strenuous lifestyle. You know, going, getting up, you know, uh, plucking a chicken and, you know, dressing meat. So you can eat it, you know, so we're not used to we're not used to that, you know, so in our mind certain thoughts come to where you're wondering, well, how should I eat? Or how, what I'm gonna do, what I'm how what I'm gonna do to eat, or what am I gonna do to sustain and live life, you know, as you know it. Understanding prophecy, we understand that there's a transition of worlds on the brink. All right, we, uh, uh, the scriptures talk about, you know, the last hour, all right? When the last hour of the day is what the darkest hour, all right? You can look that up, you know, the last hour of, uh, of night, all right? It's, it's extremely dark before the sun arises, okay? And we're living in that time where it's going to be extremely dark. We're living in a time where the pains, the scriptures tell you that it's going to be like a woman in travail, right? And you understand when a woman is going through the process of delivering of a, ba of a baby, you see the pain that she goes through and the screaming and the anguish, you know, the contractions that take place where it's very uncomfortable, all right? However, the elect are going to lean on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why the scriptures tell you the name of the Lord, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right, the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. 
right? And that's our comforter, all right? That's our comfort, the Holy Spirit, okay? Which is the, the new Saul, just like how you had Saul, he was uh, had those demons messing with him, and then King David, he played the harp, right? And what, he played a song for Saul to, to quell those demons. That's why the scriptures tell you that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. Okay, in Revelation it talks about how the 144,000 was the only one that knew that song. It had the name of their, their power written in their forehead. Why? Because we believe in the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah. We believe in the spirit of truth to comfort us in these last days. All right, and that's why Yahweh Shah said in Matthew the sixth chapter. <laughs> Yo Oh man It's lock you One second Alright I got it Phone had fell down to the side So lock you But let's go To uh, Matthew the 6th chapter Right Let's start at verse 19 Alright Cause it's about a mind frame First and foremost Myself and the elder Yashua, but we were throwing scriptures back and forth, throwing ideas back and forth, you know, building. We were talking about the mind frame that you have to have going towards these this day. And Yahweh Shai gave us the blueprint. He's the architect. All right. Starting from the beginning. All right. The principalities, all these different, all these different thoughts are demons coming into your mind, which are basically principalities. Okay. Of what we're supposed to do in these last days, okay? And what mind frame we're supposed to have in these last days? Give me one second. Okay? So, let's go, Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay not yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do of corrupt right and where thieves break through and steal and what is this treasure talking about it's talking about essentially your goals all right your uh, uh your endeavors all right now we do have particular endeavors in the world where you know you want to sustain yourself but we understand that those things are going to decay and they're going to rot and they're going to burn in the time to come so these are not things that we lay our mind to for, an, for assurance, okay? Because they're considered dead works, okay? And with these break through it still, but lay up yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? It says what? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So there's a pre preparation of the mind. The scriptures say what? Wisdom is the principal thing with all thy getting, get understanding. It says the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, what does it mean to be single? To know how to concentrate, okay? And when you understand concentration, all right? Whenever something is concentrated, it has more power, all right? It has more force. So our mindset should be fully on this doctrine and the prophecies and the things that's to come. And so that what? We're able to put on the full armor of the Lord to fight up against the wiles of the devil. Okay? It says, but if thy eye be single, thy whole body, I'm sorry, but thy, if thy eye be evil, let me finish verse 22. Thy whole body shall be full of light. That's what? If your eye is single, right? And that's another thing. Let me say this too, if, if, if brothers, because if you if you know you're feeling if you're feeling ailments, you're feeling sick, all right. The best thing to do is not only to take herbs, but to concentrate those herbs because it has more power. All right. What I mean by concentrate them is not to dilute them. All right. And that's essentially what the Lord is saying. Man, don't dilute this word with. Uh, 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 you can't mix the fabric. You can't mix the garment. All right. That's why the scriptures talk about those. 144,000 men who have not slept with women, man. All right? Because they're not defiled. They're fully concentrated on the word of the Lord. So when you're taking, you know, particular herbs, 
You know, don't don't mix it with nothing, man. You want to take, you know, your apple cider vinegar, take it straight. Don't mix it with water. You want to get the full effect. You know, you know, eat your garlic. You know, or uh, whatever you do. You know, you want to concentrate it to, because that, that's what it has its most strength. Just want to throw that out there. It said the light of the body is the eye. For if thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. And you're you're making yourself what susceptible to spirits. Okay. It says if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one. Right and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. And when you go into that word Mammon, it means bread. All right, because the scriptures tell you that the love of money is the root of all evil. All right, the scriptures tell you to labor not to be rich. Why? Because therefore you're setting your heart on the things that are corruptible, man. All right, the scriptures talk about the immortal and the mortal, the things that are seen. Are, uh, 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 are temporal But the things that are not seen are eternal And the people they can't see the prophecies We have the, the mind frame We have the mind of Yahweh Shai As the scriptures tell you in 1 Corinthians the 2nd chapter And the 15th verse Being spiritual uh, 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 Being spiritual entities, being spiritual beings Having the mind of Yahweh Shai Fully settled in his word Alright And on The things that are set to come all right. It says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, for what shall ye eat, or what shall ye drink? Nor let your body, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than the meat, the body than raiment. You see? Your life is greater than these things. So if you are of the elect, first and foremost, you're gonna have a mind frame of not having doubt, not having fear. The scriptures tell you that. The Most High has not given us a spirit of fear, but what? Of a sound mind. All right? Meaning when, when something is sound, something is firm. Okay? And, and it's not easily moved. All right? It says what? Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, Yet your father feedeth them. Are ye not better than they? Right, the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai created the earth for man to inhabit. Alright? For man to dwell here. So the things that are on earth are subject to us, especially if you have the if you have the spirit on you of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says what? Which of you taking thought can add but one cubit unto his stature? And why? Take ye thought for raiment Consider the lilies to the, Of the field, how they grow They toil not, neither do they spin And yet I say unto you That even Solomon and in his glory Was not arrayed like one of these Wherefore If the Most High clothed the grass of the field Which to this day is And to the morrow is cast Into the oven ooh, And tomorrow Is cast into the oven You see what, what, what is that talking about? It's talking about, talking about the thermonuclear destruction, man. All right? We understand that the next day, what the part of this transition is going to get very ugly out here, and then there's going to be a, a thermonuclear blast across the four winds of the earth. All right? So this is the mind frame that we need to be in. Okay? It says... And take no thought for raiment, consider the lilies of the field. Let me jump down. It says, Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall ye, he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? You see? Because that's what it's all boiled down to. This thing boils down to faith, man. Okay? And a part of having the faith is. You know, exercising your mind now. And you may be going through some particular things now in this time frame, but it's all to your benefit, which I'm gonna go into. Okay? Because the most high is teaching us 
how to be exalted, and how to be abased. All right, which I'm going to go into in the book of Philippians. Right? It says, verse 31, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye need of all these things. See, yeah, so we don't need to worry about how we're going to eat, where we're going to sleep. You know, these things, these things should not be in our minds. Okay? And that's why you have particular men who go through the loops and the bounds, all right, the loops and the, and, and, and the uh, tribulations, okay, so that the testimony of Yahweh Shai can be uh, uh, brought forth to build up the minds of the of the uh, of the elect, of those that may not have stronger minds, okay. And I'm here to tell you, <laughs> as a brother, man, you know, to share forth that. I know for a fact that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is real and is going to deliver the, those that have faith in him. All right? And other brothers can attest to that too. Basically, brothers have been through certain things where it was most high brought forth miracles, man. Hey, if you don't believe in those actions and these things that took place in the scriptures, you know how Paul was delivered. Out of through all the different turmoils, being bitten by the ass, being shipwrecked, and being thrown into prison, the uh, men of the Lord being beaten, and they being delivered, the angels of the Lord coming and delivering them. If you don't have that mind frame, you are not going to be delivered. Okay? Let me get another scripture real quick. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22 It says let us draw near With a true heart Meaning what a true mind Being sincere about this thing man What is the point of reading the scriptures Alright The scriptures tell you the Things are written a full time Written for our learning dude, That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures Might have hope So we're, we're, we're reading the scriptures to be comforted To look at our forefathers And the turmoil that they've been through To know that those things are coming Down the pike towards us And we're going to be delivered from it all right, it says what? In full assurance of faith, having our hearts or our minds sprinkled from an evil conscience. And what's an evil count conscience? Doubt. All right, denying the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, and our bodies washed with pure water. Right, because you're supposed to be submerged in this thing. You're supposed to be baptized in this thing. And if you didn't baptize yourself in this thing, you're not going to win. All right? You're not going to overcome the wiles of the devil, man. All right? And this goes for myself as well. All right? It says, let us hold fast our the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. Right? Because the Most High is faithful, man, in his works. The scripture tell you the Most High's word does not go back, go out void. Neither shall he repent. Meaning what? He ain't going to turn back from what he said. We're the children of Israel. We're going to go through Jacob's trouble and we're going to be delivered. That's the bottom line, man. We don't know how. We don't know exactly. We can't give you the step-by-step, -step, play by play scenario. But whatever happens, going to happen is meant is going to be, and we're going to uh, be successful and be uh and win in this time, man. All right? The scriptures tell you that we're going to get victory when you read Revelation the 20th chapter over the over the beast and his image and his mark. All right? Woo. So, let me go to let 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 me do this. So I'll probably get that in John last, but I want to read this because this is a popular scripture but people don't truly understand what it means. All right, so I want to get the backdrop of Philippians, the fourth chapter. Actually, it's the 13th verse at the point. We want to understand why Paul said what he said. All right, you got Tim Tebow. He had the, uh, the, the uh, uh, eye tags of Philippians 4, 4 and 13. You got Jake that tattooed Philippians 4 and 13. But do they truly understand why did Paul say that? Okay, it says what? I'm going to start at verse 11. Now, uh, 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 verse 10, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly. That now, right, that now, 
at the last, your care of me have flourished again. Wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Right? So Paul is talking about the last, meaning uh, the final trial. Okay? Not that I speak in respect of what? For I have learned. You see? Because Paul's not speaking like I don't, I don't need anything. Right? I'm not, I'm not asking for anything. Okay? It says, in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. So you're not supposed to lose your marbles when the most high brings you down, man. You know, to a lower state. Yeah, your bills might be backed up. Maybe you not, might not be able to pay the rent. Maybe you not, might, might not be able to pay particular bills. Maybe you have food shortage. Maybe there's not a lot of food in the refrigerator right now. But the, you're supposed to, the, look, if you're going through something right now, then the most high is gearing you up for the time to come. That's why the scripture tell you to take it patiently. When the, when, when, when the tribulation come, take it with all joy. Because the most high is chastening you. He's hardening you. For the, because the things that are coming down the pike are far worse than what you're going through now. All right, Romans 8 and 18, that the sufferings of this time are not worthy to be compared for the things that are promised unto us, man. Okay? It says, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. All right, because the times of hunger are coming, which that's what the word famine means. But you're not going to have the luxuries, as I was saying from the beginning, all right, to just open your refrigerator, have a choice of, mm, should I eat fish today? Should I eat lamb today? No, we're not going to have that luxury. You're going to get what you're going to get. You see that going on. Hey, they showed you the um the Afghan, Afghanistan uh, uh, re uh, refugees that are living in Bosnia right now. They out there in the cold with sandals, you know, wrapped up, you know, and, and they, they, they're finding abandoned buildings to live in and, and find comfort and warmth. And there's long lines in the cold and in the snow to give food. All right? Those, those circumstances are about to take place in America, man. If you don't know that, you better, you, you better, exactly, get your mind geared toward these things. All right? It says what? It says, I know how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere. And in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Hamashiach which strengthen me. Right. So if you know how to, you know, you praise the Lord, yeah, the water, you know, shy, you know, you gave me substance today, I ate today, you know, I, I got raiment, I got food, I got a roof over my head. You, you're praising the Lord in that circumstance. And then when you get in a circumstance where you're you're abased, when you don't have these things, you're still supposed to praise the Lord. Right? And in, and in being in those circumstances, that's the most high, Yahweh Bashim Shai, strengthening you. All right? That's why he said what he said. I can do all things through Hamashiach who strengthens me. So if we have Yahweh Shai, that's right. Romans the eighth chapter, man. If the most high be for us, who could be against us, man? All right? If we have Yahweh Shai, we have nothing to worry about, man. Okay. I'm going to read verse 14. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Right. Now let's go to John. All right. Chapter 14. And I'm going to start up a little higher. All right. Verse uh, 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, to see how I speak it. He that believeth for me, the work that I do, he shall do great. And see, that's the spirit, man. Look, man, we supposed to be looking for uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to be invoked in these times to get us through whatever circumstance we're going through, man. Okay? It says what? The works that I do, he, sh he shall do in greater works, right? Pull over for a moment. Right? It says what? And verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall 
he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go to my father. You see? So Yahweh Shai telling you like, look, man, when I go to my father, you're going to do great works. Hey, spiritual power going to happen on this side too. And we know that because, look, spiritual power happened when Yahweh Shai left and left the disciples, man. Immediately it happened when Yahweh Shai left the disciples, man. Because if you do the math on it, right, Yahweh Shai, when he rose from the dead, all right, he was with the disciples, what? Uh, 40 days and 40 nights. The day of Pentecost, which the children of Israel, all right, the disciples, and the gathering, you know, Acts the second chapter, that's 50 days. So if Yahweh Shai was with them for that time frame, all right, he died, rose again, was with them for 40 days and 40 nights, circa 50 days, about 50 days, you know, that's a short time frame from the Passover, because 50 days after the Passover is the day of Pentecost, and that's when they got spiritual power. So it happened immediately. And then all throughout that time in the book of Acts, right? You see the disciples and Paul and, you know, Peter, James, John, having and, and, uh, 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 being uh, 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 and enabled with the spiritual power. Okay? So these things, when Jacob's trouble happened, best believe you're going to have men with spiritual power, man. Without a shadow of a doubt, man. Well, you shouldn't have a shadow of a doubt. You know? And if you do have doubt, go read the book of Acts. That's why the scriptures tell you, you know, they received the word, but it was what not mixed with faith. All right? So when you read these, these scriptures, you're supposed to believe. If Well, that's a gift. You know, you can't force faith on somebody. All right? But if you're lacking in these things, read more. Okay? Hey, if you got headphones too, if you're able to put on headphones while you're at work or you drive for work, put the scriptures on, man. Not just the videos. Videos are beautiful. You know, watch the videos, apostles, elders, scripture tell you, miss not the discourse of the elders, right? But go into the scriptures for yourself, man. That's how you get built up, man. You know? It says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, the that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So the, 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 Yahweh Shah is telling us to ask for these things, man. Okay? If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So best believe in the time to come, if there's a shortage of food, if there's a shortage of anything, man, if we lack anything, Salakia, if we lack anything, man, we're supposed to pray to Yahweh Shah and Shah believe that he's going to give it to us, man. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants us to ask for it. All right? It says what? If you love me, keep my commandments. And the commandment is faith. All right? And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And we have that comforter now, and that comforter ain't leaving us, even though they're going to shut down the internet, even though they're going to shut down videos, even though they're going to take away the Bible from us. Even though they're going to make a man offender for a word. All right? Even though the dragon is, uh, 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 is going to try to devour the word. All right? The comfort is still going to be with us. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And those are comforting words right there, man. All right? We're not going to be left comfortless, man. I believe that wholeheartedly. And you should too. Man, woman, and child that are Israelites. You know? You may be in a, a particular area where you're not you know, familiar with and get stuck out there, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, maybe a lockdown, shutdown. Hey, pray to the Lord. Look at the men of old, man. Look at, uh, 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 why did, why, why was Daniel so fervent on not eating the king's meat and not obeying the authority 
at the time, the medial Persian Empire, because he knew that, for one, that he feared the Lord more, and, he, and for two, that the Lord would deliver him. Okay? He knew that the Lord, he would have favor in the Lord. You know? So he was willing to go through the particular circumstances that he wasn't familiar with or uncomfortable circumstance, just like the men of all the men of old. Why? Because we understand our power, man. You know? Yet a little while in the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live, ye shall live also. So while all the all the hell and the turmoil is going on and, and death is all around us, the Lord is going to have us live, man. We're going to be living, man, in the, amongst the dead. Scripture tell you, a thousand shall fall at thy side, but uh, the pestilence shall not, not touch nigh thee. You know? And that's going to be comforting to us. And it's going to enhance our faith to the point where the Lord is going to and, 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 and douse us, if that's the right word, with, with power to overcome these circumstances till we be delivered and, and, and beamed up in what the world calls UFOs, which is the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, in which a lot of you Israelites do not, you don't talk about. The kingdom of heaven is, is, is within us and we're going to receive the kingdom of heaven shortly, man. Very soon, man. I believe. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Akhaqudah. Shalom.